Taxi, we were discussing before, you know, in the previous game, Port is actually one of one of our favourites to, to yeah. like get our teeth into. So, so strategical, you know, it really emphasises the snipers uh, as well, but we'll be watching those throughout. It's something, obviously, we're going to have to keep a check on, obviously. 70kg, fantastic sniper, captain of the Chinese team, the, the heart, the bleeding pulp of the team, of course. Rudo will try to be doing similar for the Vietnamese team now. Both teams went 7-2 on attack in regular time. It is more of an attacking map. However, we just saw the Chinese team really struggling on the attack against Himo Bravo. Now, uh, I've got Himo Brave, sorry. Uh, of course, the Vietnamese team would have been watching that match. Yes. They'd be looking, picking the holes in the strategies and suddenly thinking, hang on a minute. If the Brazilian team can get five rounds on defense, surely we can. We obviously only got two before, but the difference is, of course, both these teams very aggressive, very attack-minded. So expect to see them going hell for leather on those attacking rounds. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The finals is underway. It's a best of three. It is all gamers, the Chinese team versus Boss, the Vietnamese team. They are underway, and they're hitting B-side. We said it's fast. We're already into the action. And good is going down. Zeke has taken damage, but Reed has taken even more. He's out of the game in the first 30 seconds. But what a fast-paced play here from Boss already suffering the consequences. Instant action even on site covering off. Rudo does manage to get himself one down though. That's the first death for China as they keep on pushing, keep on pressing. Rudo through the side, gets it through the window, takes down ZQ. Now he hasn't checked the corner, even sticking in the corner, pops out, gets himself the shot. And now it's a three on two for the Vietnamese. It's gonna be very difficult. You can see Shady just backing off here, buddying up with Ali. And now the decision will have to go down. Do they rotate? Do they stick to their guns? Do they push forward into the B site? If they do, it's going to be trouble because look at all gamers. They're not only coming together at B, they're pushing it out. They're going, they're hunting for the Vietnamese squad. And it's going to be Ali who catches one. Goodbye goes down, Ali catches one. TMQ falls without a bullet taken. Ali pulling out the deagle. He's going to find another. Surely he does. No, he even takes him down. But now, fighting back, 70 kg. Incredible stuff there to take round number one. So, just about, AG come out on top, but that was very close. Of course, a lot of damage done early on. We'll see where they decide to go for the aggression once again, where they try and slow things down, look for maybe a long A peak at the moment. Of course, Snail taking a peak down mid, but 70 kg, the man we talked about, the captain, coming to the rescue of the Chinese team. That's 70 kg, having a little peak down mid there, Snail trying a bit of wall banging, trying to get his see if he can get any luck, along with Rudo, down mid. Now the smoke goes out, let's see if it leads to any plays, hidden plays with that smoke down. They may try and go for A connector. Snail with the bomb though, I'm not too happy, I'm never too happy with the bomb carrier as the one that's peeking. Yeah, the bomb carrier being the entry fragger, it just doesn't make sense to me, but maybe he's just going for that peak. Look at that, you can see Zeke. Bouncing up and down, very smart position. See if he catches one off guard maybe a little later. But as you can see on the mini map, it's almost like a 2 3 formation here. Just waiting to find one. Snail just bobbing, weaving, trying to find a gap, trying to push forward, pick a hole in all gamers' defense. But so far, nothing. We've had a minute pass. This is where they're probably going to be cut talking within the game, deciding which bomb site to push. Where will they go? That's the question. 70 kg, still holding the angle, looking through the window, looking down mid. Currently, no angles to find. Of course, Ali hasn't got any opportunities like he had before to go for those crazy flanking moves that were working so well throughout the group stage. And it does look like they're going to challenge out. 70 kg is going to be the man that's going to find the first shot. They find the first shot, three pushing through middle, two working their way to B, and it's actually gonna be Rita to find one. He's gonna go straight into 70 kg if he's not careful, looking straight through that gap. And now keep your eyes here, see, because he is just above this garage door, bouncing up and down, 30 seconds left to go. Still 10 players on the battlefield. This is gonna go down to the last couple of seconds. Here we go, going in. Zeke is gonna be caught off guard. That's coming in from Shady, poking around, peeking through and taking damage as well. 70 kg answering back with a sniper. This is going down to it, 4v3. They're pushing, they're coming around the side, they're coming from spawn, but that's a quick close off there. Even manages to get himself one, but TMQ caught out. He's just even left, gets himself the one, but not enough. And he will get taken down, it's one apiece. 
Really clever play there as well to stop the plant. He heard the call from his teammates that is close, and they literally rushed down his throat there to secure a round for their team. Boss won, all gamers won. Again, we see this 2-2-1 split on the attack, and you will see them trying to get a pick. Funnily enough, though, no snipers have been picked up for Boss here. We've got, obviously, 70 kg rocking that one. He's just out over the A-bomb site. We are seeing a slight edge towards A now. And that's coming from Rita, Rudo, and Shady. But still nothing. You can see in the grand finals, $30,000 on the line. They're playing patient. Patient is what they need to be as well. When there's a sniper like 70 kg staring down mid, staring down that barrel, and he generally doesn't miss, you have to be so careful. I've noticed that obviously Boss are choosing not to take that sniper, not to challenge him. They're instead trying to use their tactical snout. Tactical now to try and check it out. Now that was fake smoke thrown over to me though, it looked like. But it doesn't seem that all gamers are falling for it. There's still just the one man there, TMQ. And I think that's purely down to the fact that 70kg is staring down mid. And he's like, they are not pushing mid right now. I am not seeing anything. And you can see them stacking out once again for that B side, trying to get a pick, trying to get a look. One minute on the clock, still plenty of time to play for. And it's again going to be even and ZQ called into action. Well, Rudo is the furthest pushed up. He's on your screens as we speak. He's uh, trying to get in co to connect and maybe find LSN over the wall here. And he actually has done, but he's been flashed. He's got to back off, and now you can see his teammates almost pushing forward into B. It looks like they've dedicated themselves to it. And actually, only Zeke and even are defending this. It's cooking down to a very interesting 4v2 at B. Four-man stack in house, smoke's ready, but that's a good little flash coming out the side there, even slowing things down. 20 seconds, they have to go, now's the time. Even gets in the corner, but they're gonna test that box, they're gonna pre-fire it. They catch him out, but here comes the rest of all gamers coming around the side. Are they gonna be in a position? LSN leading the charge with ZQ. Need to maybe even boost themselves up there. Ali gets a glimpse, gets himself one, but TMQ ZQ reply. They come around, Shady gets a quick double, and now ZQ's all alone. Can he go? 1v3, they're caught in the corner. Snail gets himself in there, Shady gets to peek around the side, Rita forces him away, but Ziku's still alive. He finds himself one, but the grenade comes in from Snail and takes down ZQ. A very close quarters battle there, and they ran the clock down. They didn't get the plan. It's worked twice for them. It wouldn't surprise me if they do exactly the same. However, look at that. We talk about them being aggressive on the defense. Zeke and 70kg pushing out of B. They're not giving them any map control here, and this is definitely going to change the game up. We do see that slow, methodical play here coming in from Boss, but they will not be expecting Zeke and 70kg to be as far pushed up as they are. Taking control of house, it's something that they worked on against the Brazilian team. He will brave. It didn't quite work out for them, but with 70kg making this move, making this switch, this time he might catch Ali out. Ali is the, obviously the guy that likes to flank, likes to roam, likes to cause the trouble. But if he peeks his head around that corner, he's going straight into the scope of 70 kg. And it looks like ZQ is even getting a little impatient. It looks like he wants to push up further. <laughs> he's getting a call from his team. He's captain alongside him. Don't you dare go looking for those kills because he has it completely trained. There's 70 kg. You can see it on your screens. Nobody's coming around that corner, but they're flanking back. Okay, they made a little movement. And there's actually been maybe a call because Evans took the flank, he's gone around spawn, back towards mid, so they must be feeling still something is coming towards B site, but as we can see on the minimap, Boss just running that clock down, seeing if he can find any picks, but nothing so far has been found. It seems to be rinse and repeat here as we uh, go down to the last mid and still 10 players all battling now, and again, what do they do? We see Boss drifting over to that B site. Warbanks coming in, grenades are going to be thrown. You can actually see now, Zeke and 70kg have backed off. They've given control to B, but the call will be made. Yeah, they forced them away. 70kg very lucky to get away with his life there. Got tagged up pretty heavily, and you can see he's made the full rotate. He's gone back into mid. So now it is ZQ and Even on B's side. They've taken control of how smokes, flashes, ready to go. And this is exactly what happened in the first two victories for Boss. They push out a B, they outnumber them, they get the bomb down, but it's not going to happen that way. 20 seconds left, they've gone for a split, and he's going to be running straight into 
into KG. Flashes are going to come in, and it's all going to go down to these last 15 seconds. It's looking good here for all gamers. No one can even penetrate through, and now we see some gunfire. Now we see the battle. 70 KG, Snail, LSN, Rita, and even all picking up kills here. But there's only five seconds to go. They've not got enough time. Surely Atli has to take the kill. It's not going to happen. He's ran away. He's played the clock, and it's mission success for TMQ. Well, boss, running out of time. You know, I've seen them using Navi mouse pads back there as well, <laughs> something they are famed for in a, another game. But that's something you shouldn't do. That is a little criminal. To lose a round simply by running out of time is something that should never happen in any rounds. So this time, are they going to quicken things up? Are they going to wait for that go sign? It seemed that the flank just, just didn't work for them. And as you said, wisely, TMQ just ran and hide. There's no reason to go looking for that last frag. Yeah, it was nicely done. And it is split at 2-2. This is definitely different from the first time these teams met up. And LSN, keep your eyes on him because he's in a very sneaky corner. Could be caught from a wall man. But again, the balls of boss pushing through that mid to B. They're trying to get control. And what it does do is it outnumbers them. TMQ, he'll be sat watching A. He's useless at this moment, but LSN isn't. And that goes for a trade, 4v4, as Rito answers back. Yeah, Rito trying to find uh, 70 kg in that window and instead he found a very angry LSM but the reply came in so it was a one for one trade in the end they still have Rita in there checking out that window where 70 kg is hanging but now they're going to push into sight 70 kg takes down Snail so that's the flank's going to fail but Ali's come through ZQ replies gets him in the back there but it's going to be a two on one Ali can't face them down and in the end three members of all gamers come around the corner and it's three to two as all gamers take the lead so Third time wasn't the charm there, as unfortunately it looks like all gamers are countering now. That B pushing, they're doing it again. Keep your eyes on Zeke and even, they're pushing through. No, they're backed off. Look at aggressive connector, look at this, they piled straight down mid. And I think it's LSN that's got a little peek down there. He got a bit of damage down on Snail, the nade came in, but they've taken control of connector. And I think the shout will come to call to rotate. Quickly, LSN moves over to A site. As of yet, A site hasn't been hit. So it wouldn't surprise me if they've decided to call for this one. TMQ on site, Sin waiting with Shady and Ali in connector. There's a third being boosted as well. They really are putting a lot of pressure on this connector. Yeah, it looks like a time push, LSN. but LSN, LSN going straight for Ali, and he's going to see the wrath of the AK there. Ali getting the better of him, and now, do they push? Do they rotate? The flashes are going to come in, and look at the push through mid there. We're going to see interactions even getting the better of Rita, and Snail falls now, a 3v3. Rudo manages to get himself one. He's trying to get the rotate. He's pushing around the back, but he hasn't got enough bullets. Switches to pistol, but 70kg gets the better of him. Popping up ladder for Shady, he takes him down, and 70kg coming over bridge. The last man hasn't got the sniper this time around, and Shady challenges him out and lands the frags, and now it's three apiece. Well, 70kg, maybe if he did have the sniper, it may have helped him a little bit there, but pinpoint accuracy from the boys on boss. And it was that entry kill that Ali got onto LSN. This time, it looks like LSN is playing a little bit further back. Switch of pace, maybe catching them off guard, but they've gone back to status quo. Slow, steady, peaking down mid. 70 kg back on scope this time, adjusting his position. It's LSN that's challenging out through the doors, but unable to find anything. You can see Snail in the distance. Staring with a nade now, looking for 70 kg, is going to find him, takes half the health off. So a good nade through window there for Snail. Does he realize, is he going to follow up on it? A second nade comes in, 70 kg down to next to no health, forced to back away from window. Now they have control and two men pushing through connector. Grenades are going over and LSN has taken damage as well. Two players for all games are very, very low here. This could be dangerous. The push seems to be... Gathering around Connector, will they go for A? They seem nervous. Shady's gonna pick up the bomb, but he's still, he's lingering around middle. He's trying to help them out. And I think he can sense that LSN could be on their radar, but here we go, the push is being made. There's nobody sitting on the ledge of A site, so this is effectively gonna be taken. Ali's gonna get up there with ease, not even gonna get challenged out. He gives the call out, Shady moves into position. Now the guys in mid, they're gonna to have to try and cover off the pass here. The 70kg tries to push window, but Rudo's there. LSN gets taken down. He 
can see TMQ pushing through Bridge. He's going to try and get around the side. He gets Rita down, but is it enough as they push through? Because the boys are holding mid strong. Shady down, catching 70k G at Bridge, and suddenly with Bomb planted, it is pressure on all gamers. Yeah, 3v4, numbers are against them. 35 seconds, make it 25 now. We're going to see them go head to head, and it's going to go one apiece. Who's going to make Zeke? Makes the double double and even. Answers back, it's all up to Snail. And he's in a great them. position to sneak up right behind him. He's taking damage, it's not going to happen even. Ooh. Smells out the snail coming from behind there. Eliminates him to pick up their fourth round. Can you smell a snail? I don't know whether that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never got down low enough to sniff, but he came crawling through the back door and he got caught out. Four to three, all gamers in the lead. And this time they're going aggressive. They're a little push down mid. Maybe catching Boss off guard, but none of the nades connect. And Boss slow things down once again. But look at the push over B side. It hasn't been hit for a couple of rounds. And TMQ in even maybe getting a little antsy there, a little uh, aggressive, trying to push up. And you can see that Snail on the minimap, he's the man that's starting to take a peek. But TMQ looks like he wants to look. He wants to get tentative. He's desperate to take a peek around that corner at Snail. Trying to get the uh, peeker as advantage, that shoulder peek round. We can see 70kg still rocking the sniper, covering A completely alone. But I'm more interested in TMQ and Eve and see what they can do. They've got full control here. They know they're nowhere near B. Ali's They've got not looking. Ali's looking to the other side. He's going to creep around the corner. Yeah, TMQ always had advantage there. Snail gets the reply, though. Now that's actually B site cleared out at the moment. You can see Evans on the rotate. He's going to get back in position along with ZQ. ZQ coming out on top. And this is not going well for Boss. They are running into the grinder at house and they have to back away. They're thinking of a rotate to A, but as you said, 70 kg ready and waiting. Yeah, you don't want to be running into him with that sniper, but it looks like they're pushing through middle. The rotate should be coming in. Connector, not even a chance to do that as Rita falls. Now a 2v4, not looking good here for Boss. Going into maybe a fifth round loss, but it's not over yet. Rudo and Shady still alive and kicking. Shady actually takes down one, 2v3. Even is so deep over on B site that he knows he's given so much information to the rest of his team that they are they have to be hitting A because they are not here. And now you can see them lining up. 70kg and even. They have them scoped down bridge. 70kg gets challenged. He was caught just backing away. And Shady manages to take him down to a 2 on 2 Bomb down, but the nade comes in. It catches Shady square on the jaw. Takes him down to half health. Now he's going to have to get the plant in, but look at this flank coming out from even. He's already got in a position, but Rudo! Rudo spins around 360 no scope to the face Rudo the last man standing though bomb didn't get planted there's only 14 seconds ZQ just needs to back up and prevent him planting that bomb and Rudo knows it Rudo has to challenge seven seconds six seconds he's running out of time he has to find ZQ ZQ just run and hide don't peek no reason to and Rudo can't get the plan oh just got it in time so close now Rudo is he going to find it? Where's he backing away? He didn't have the time, and it is over. AG. Well, boss, that's you can't you can't lose two rounds now to running out of time. We've not seen it throughout the tournament, but twice already in this game. Ridiculous stuff. And the final round before we uh, switch things over. Five to three Shady. now. Get in. In the grill, and we're going to see a very fast-paced game. LSN picking up a double in the middle, but he's going to fall to Snail and even. Answering back, and now we find ourselves in a 3v2. It looks like here, Ali is getting very, very up close and personal, but Eben's just backed off. He said, you know what? We've got the numbers. But TMQ's pushed all the way down long A, so he's given the information. He's still aware that they're in mid, and you can see the position in a both even taking that peak down mid. He's aware that they're in this situation. ZQ has good cover as well, sitting lurking in that smoke. Ali has to go big here with Shady. They've both been... been Big for their team. Shady gets himself a kill. TMQ going down. 12th kill of the game for him. Little peek around the side there, but even as ZQ, they're covering off Shady. He needs the support of Ali. Ali comes from distance. Down the bridge, manages to get himself the shot onto ZQ, but now it's a one on one. And it is Ali versus Even. Both extremely experienced players. And it's the Chinese man, Even, that comes out on top with his blonde highlights, making it pay. You can see the. Uh the pain on the squad of boss there. Hands, head in their hands. And, uh, at the side, we do finish things off at six to three. All gamers looking strong. Just bear in mind, this map was played only yesterday. Boss came out on top. 
They actually took that 7-2 in the first side. It went 7-2 in the second. It went to a full overtime. This time a little bit closer. All gamers now. They will be on the attack. And funnily enough, they've pulled out two snipers. Completely different to how Boss played it. Absolutely. A 70kg, seeing if you can get them on those maybe opening picks. And well, we saw it work out so well for Zhao. Obviously, it was rocking it. Couldn't challenge 70kg, though. 70kg in here. LSN making the switch. Okay, so just using it at the start to see if you can get one of those big, long-range picks down mid. But not working. Back over to the AK. And now... Slowing things down. A much slower pace, by the way, I might add, from what we saw in the group stages. Yeah. Both teams were going hell for leather in that. Yeah, a lot slower, and all games are known for being aggressive, and this time it seems like they're, uh, they're playing nice and methodical. They're playing almost the same on the attack as Boss did, especially for these starting rounds where they're pushing mid, they're pushing to B, and who is this number six LSN? What? He's going on a solo mission. Maybe we can see what he's up to, but four players pushing through, maybe heading towards the house. And now, Shady, you can see grenades coming in. He's almost sensing the house is coming down. But no, the push is halted just for a second, and now three players are going to gather up to middle. Two for the B, and this looks like a very strategical play. This is out, straight out of the playbook. But Boss, they're realizing it. TMQ coming from behind. Snail's going to get taken as well. And now a 3v2 as TMQ finally falls to Shady. No chance there. They got caught out completely in the grinder. Luckily, Boss managed to reply as the guys on B side actually that held solid because the guys rotating got absolutely minced. But now, look at this. ZQ and even fast rotate. The man that's going to have to look for it is Rudo. Rudo, is he going to spot them passing by? He's about to come around the corner. He's going to run headlong into it. And literally headlong as he loses it off his shoulders and even takes him down. But they don't go charging into A. Instead, they stop. They wait to connect and they look to jump on bridge. They're even going so aggressive. He falls in the end to his own death. And Shady comes out wow. on top. That's not how you want to die. <laughs> I, was got, I mean, even played that awesomely. Picks yeah. off one in the middle, does some fancy jumping around, picks off another, could have got the third, falls to his death, and his teammate goes down. Didn't expect it to end like that, but we're going into the next round as Boss start off strong in numbers, but theoretically, they didn't look great there on the defense. Some clear tension on the Vietnamese players' faces as well, shrugging up that one. They realized they got lucky with that round, honestly. They were <laughs> very lucky indeed. Yep. Uh, but this time around, looks like it might be a, a bit of a long A-peak. We're seeing aggression from Boss, Snail and Rudo boosting themselves up, getting a little peek at Connector, and they're backing away, realizing it's clear, not going too aggressive. Grenade comes in, only brushes even there on his legs, but doesn't do a great deal of damage. Shady for Boss, so far coming to the rescue, just like he did in the attacking round, already picking up the three kills in that last round, while AG stacked themselves up, minute 30 on the clock, Sitting at mid, they seem a little apprehensive as to where to go, but it looks like it's going to be a mid to A push. And Shady, the man that's already got those three kills, is the one that's going to spot them out in mid. All right, so that bomb just lingering around mm -hmm. the back. I like that play. They're not rushing through. They're not pushing the bomb with that entry fragger. But two in connector, four players defending the A site. Boss sensed this. Boss knows what's going down right now. And it's actually going to be Snail who could catch one off guard. Snail versus LSN very, very soon. You can see Snail just in the corner there, tucking himself away. And I feel like all gamers could be walking into a whole lot of trouble. 70 kg from range though, down long A. LSN really senses it, comes around, pre-fires, gets him. Rudo replies though, and then 70 kg tries to answer. Ali though, with the double from the back. 70 kg doing what he can, but now it's a three on two. Pops around the corner, gets the support of TMQ, comes rattling in, Ali goes down. Rita and Rudo on high. Rudo just at the side there. I don't think 70 kg is looking. Does manage to glimpse, but it doesn't matter. TMQ goes down and now 70 kg all alone in a 1v3. Well, we go into the clutch Ooh, cam. Dang. I was going to say we're on the, <laughs> the wrong one there, but it gets ended by Rudo taking down 70 kg. And they did. They walked into a whole lot of trouble. They walked into a brick wall of boss at the A bomb site, and uh, they won't be wanting to do that again. And this is a completely different game than yesterday. Boss was only able to get two rounds on the defense in total. This time they've started with two. Are they rushing this? They've gone straight into house. They've taken control. I think they're going to rush it around the corner. I think Shady and Ali, they've read this well. They've got themselves in that B position, but they're going to charge around the corner. No opening frags go down. Ali finally drops and ZQ 
find Shady hiding around that box. The nades come in, the flashes go through. ZQ gets taken down after getting his double. Rita's already got himself around the corner. They've got to realize he's passed the bite. They don't realize it. He gets around, gets the back on 70kg. In comes the rest of the support. So it's a two on two, make that a two on one. And now Snail and Even going head to head. He hasn't planted, he doesn't need to because he lands the shot and a triumphant roar to his captain defies that finally AG pick up their first round on attack. And even that's the second 1v1 he's won. You can see they're very pleased with themselves and they struggle sometimes on the attack. Well, that round seemed very, very planned out. That aggressive push to be not this case though. Take your eyes to LSN straight up the middle. He's coming maybe from wow. behind. No contestion at all. He's actually going to be taken down. Uh, that's Rita, sorry, taken down, but LSN taking a lot of damage. He's going to have to back up Rendezvous with his team, and he's going to be caught in the middle. Shady, evening things up now, a 4v4. Yeah, good rotation there. Both Snail and Shady, pins move, cutting him off. There. It was only one way he was going to go into the building uh, through mid, and they got caught out just entering towards house. So he goes down. TMQ trying to get a little peek of his own, but now with a 4-on-4, four four, what is going to happen? Boss still need many more rounds. They're trailing seven to five so far on the defense, which is something they struggled with yesterday, but they've already got those two rounds. But now the mid stack's starting to work and Snail's watching it. There's a good rotation, but oh no, it's gonna be a mid to B. And there's only one man, Shady, all alone there. Now, did Ali just hear the footsteps? He might have caught a glimpse of them pushing through mid into house. He doesn't seem to be moving. I think they've got away with it here. Now, Shady, he needs to make a big move. If they push into B, he needs to just hold them back, stay alive, use those grenades. He's actually got one, and here we go. Grenade thrown straight away. And actually, it's not going to catch anyone because the rotate's coming in, and it looks like AG is just a little bit confused of where to go. I think they've just tried to fake it, but they're, they're realizing they're faking themselves into it. Obviously, <laughs> we have the bonus that we can see. We have full vision of it. Uh, that's the, the bonus that we have as spectators. Ali could be pivotal here. I'm seeing TMQ trying to get a little peek around the side there. Ali should be able to catch him going on the bridge. Rudo does get the rotate. He manages to catch one, but even comes out on top, gets himself two, but Shady is so often coming to the rescue. Snail gets one, 70 kg all alone now with the bomb, trying to get up into sight, but they've backed away, and now in this two on one, it might work for him. He checks the boxes, <laughs> but that shot gives his position away. Snail peeks in, he finds him, and now it's a one on one, and Shady's a long way from home at the moment. The grenade in 70 kg's hand gets a little peek. Five seconds, he has to get a plant. Shady knows he doesn't want to show. He can't get the plant, he has to look for the kill. It's not gonna happen. Oh, did it! He, he got it! Got it just in time, I think. Oh my goodness, that's three rounds now going down to the final second for well. 70 kg. Oh man. That's a clutch and a half there. He puts them on eight points. Boss will be kicking themselves and Shady will be thinking, why didn't I just stay back? Just hide. I mean, I guess. He didn't really know where he was. He, he, he was thinking that maybe I could catch him on the boxes, catch him while he's planting, but 70 kg played it well. LSN goes down for the opening frag there. Snail finding him down mid. And suddenly we're seeing a big A-long push here building up fast from AG. They're going aggressive. Okay, so sticking as a squad. Pushing as a four and 70 kg makes it four. The boss here and now it's all going down. Hell for leather as TMQ picks up another and it looks like the boys of boss are falling fast. He is fully in control of all gamers. Man, the mental effects that that may well have that last round. They're still probably reeling from it. And obviously, that may be why all gamers have decided to go fast and aggressive, quick at the pace, while boss are trying to figure themselves out. Snail does get himself a kill, but it was a simple 2v1. And now, map point for all gamers 9 at 5. Dominant, dominant attack suddenly. Two quick rounds catching boss reeling. Now, a chance to end it right here, to oh. take map number one. It looks like... They've tried to go aggressive on B, yep. and, and it's, it's just going to backfire because they're all at long A. Unless they go for a full rotate around the back, poor old Rudo is going to get absolutely swamped. Five <laughs> members coming his way. Great for Rudo right now because he's in a lot of trouble. He's staying alive, which is great to see. And actually, he's going to make the first kill. That goes down to Zeke. And now, traded out, 70 kg makes it a 4v4, but look at the control. Look at how much map control they've got. Rita's gonna take down 70 kg, but the bomb is planted. LSN in connector, finds himself on that snail that goes down three on three now. The push from long A, it's gonna be tricky. It's a very 
tough site to take in itself. And you can see Shady and Rita trying to get the double peak, trying to get it working. They do get a little tag down onto TMQ, but now LSN goes aggressive, finds Rita. The last man standing was Ali, and that will be all gamers taking map.